you with a delicious recipe, y'all. Today, what we're going to be making is a uh, goulash, a struggle meal. Y'all, we're going through hard times right now. And uh, I know these, these ingredients that I'm going to be using today, you probably have in your cabinet. And there's other things that you can add to it, but I will let you know as we go along with the um, recipe. So, y'all, um, this is a... To, what I'm going to be making is goulash. Goulash is pretty much whatever you throw together, that's what you mix on in there, okay? So, I what I have... First of all, before we even get into it, y'all, this is a... Um, <laughs> trying something different, but this is a, a private um, live stream. And I'm actually scheduling it, scheduling it to post another day. So, I'm just trying it out. See how I like it, y'all. It's a little dark in here. It's nighttime. I'm just cooking dinner. And so, I hope y'all like this recipe. Um, I hope you try it. Welcome to my family if you was new. I also have a second channel. The name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. That is where I go and do all my cleaning videos, organization, anything that has to do with cleaning, or organizing, painting of the house, whatever the case may be. Or whatever it is that you're doing in your house. That's what I do. Washing clothes, folding clothes, all that good stuff. Washing dishes, cleaning the refrigerator, oven, all that is over there. Okay, so the name of that channel, once again, is Boss Up Cleaning. B-O-S-S-U-P Cleaning. C-L-E-A-N-I-N-G. I hope y'all go over there and show that channel some love. When you go over there and you subscribe, please let me know that you have subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you ring the doorbell. When I say ring the doorbell, let me hear the thumbs up like, but one time for the one time. All right y'all thank y'all for being here i hope you enjoy this recipe let's get right into it okay y'all so i'm gonna put you on down here all right so the ingredients that i have is a set one one stalk of celery i've already started cutting that up so i have one stalk of celery i have one bell pepper i have a little ground beef i have a box of macaroni i'm just gonna use the macaroni out of it and not the cheese okay so i got a box of macaroni i got a tomato um, I got some chicken, bouillon, seasoning, and this is what I'm going to be adding to my water over here. So I'm going to take some of that and go ahead on and season up the water for those noodles. I've already started it out getting it boiling and everything. And so I got some corn. I got a can of tomatoes and some tomato paste. From how I'm going to do mine, it's pretty much, y'all, how you would make spaghetti. Just like spaghetti. But only difference is, is... You're going to add the corn to it. And I know some people, they add corn to their spaghetti. I've done it before. I don't add corn to my spaghetti before. You can add sweet peas to it if you want to. You don't have to add a celery. Everything that I am putting in this, y'all, is optional. You do not have to add what you don't like that I'm using, okay? If you want to add mushroom, add you some mushroom. But this is a goulash, okay? You can use ground chicken, ground turkey if that's what you want to do. It's up to you. Ain't nobody trying to tell you what to do. You do what you want to do with your stuff because it's your food. You got to eat it and your family got to eat it. So I don't want you making something that your family ain't going to eat. So I'm going to take a little or just a little bit of oil and I'm going to put it down in my pan because I have to saute my celery and my bell peppers and I'm going to get an onion and I'm going to saute all this here up in my pan until it is tender nice and tender y'all okay so you want it you don't really want it crunchy unless that's how you like it but i don't like nothing none of mine's crunchy but you come get this dryer that blanket should be dry by now so and i might not cut up this whole bell pepper I think I'm just gonna cut up just uh, half of it. I'm not gonna put that much in it because I really ain't got that much meat. Yet. Still damp. Reset it for me. Check the filter. So, yeah. Get that on, cut up like that right there. Mm hmm. Alright there. Slide over some more so y'all can see. Baby, give me that can opener up there. Hmm? The can, electric can opener. Okay. Up there in the cabinet. I apologize if it's a little dim, y'all, but 
and one onion over there, and that'll be it. So yeah, y'all. Thank you. So yeah, y'all. With living in these times, y'all, in these hard times, honey. Groceries is getting expensive. Meat ain't getting no cheaper. And so you try to make what you can out of a meal for your family. And I understand because I do the same thing for mine. And, you know, sometimes you don't feel like being in the kitchen for a long time cooking. You know, all night cooking. You just want something quick and easy. And this right here is going to be the perfect recipe. And I'm quite sure they're going to love it, even though it's called a goulash. It's called a goulash because that means that you can throw whatever you want up in there. That's why it's called goulash. Throw whatever you want up in there. But I'm quite sure that the kids is going to love it as well because it's still the same as having just like spaghetti. If you want to put spaghetti sauce in there, you're going to need you some, um, you're going to need you some, um, uh, tomato sauce as well. But I'm just going to use some spaghetti sauce the spaghetti sauce, because I didn't buy a small can of tomato sauce. And I don't want to waste a whole big can of tomato sauce on this smaller dish. This really does probably enough to last us tonight. So I'm going to be cooking us some, uh, probably some um, rolls to go with this. And this right here is going to be good. Like I said, you want to add just some sweet peas, green beans, whatever. Whatever you want to add to it, add it. And I'm about to tell you what to do. I'm just giving you a guide as to how to make this. I'm cutting this up a little bit bigger because, you know, they cook faster than bell pepper and celery. So you don't want to cut them up smallest. You do the um, celery and the bell pepper. Okay. Cut these up a little bit bigger so that they won't cook down as fast as you. All right. So I'm going to get all this right here. Sauteed up, and then once that start getting soft, I'm gonna take the uh, I'm gonna take the meat and I'm just gonna add it right on over into the pan with it. So I'm just gonna get this can of corn opened up so it'll be ready for me whenever I get it going. And it's just like that, you know, and you know. Once again, y'all, the name of my the name of my second channel is Boss Up Cleaning. B O S S U P Cleaning. C L E A N I N G. Leave a comment now and let me know that y'all join the family because I love to know if you join the family so I can welcome you. I'm not that type that I don't welcome people to the to my uh channel stuff like that. I love to welcome everybody as long as you let me know that you is new. Honey, trust and believe you will be welcome. Okay, so I'm going to pull the juice off of this corn. And then I like to rinse my corn too. I like to rinse it off, you know, because we've been sitting in that uh water in this can for a while. And so I like to rinse it off just to rinse the little that little can taste off of it, I guess. But anyway, so now I'm going to take this macaroni and we're going to, I'm going to add a little bit of salt back there to that too. Because I did, really didn't add as much. Um, I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to add some oil so that the noodles don't stick together. And then we're going to just dump that box of noodles in there. And I'm only using this small box because I really didn't have plans on making a lot. This right here is just enough for this little bit of meat that I got. About a pound of meat. That's it. Okay. So this can go in the trash. But you can also add cheese to the top of this. Or you could just eat it just like it is when it's done, y'all. This is a real simple meal. It's just, you know, and it's, and it's real delicious. Really, really delicious, I'm telling you. It's almost just like having a spaghetti. Only difference is, is a, it's a different than noodles. And you are uh, not adding spaghetti sauce. But, like I said, I am going to add spaghetti sauce. And you don't even have to add spaghetti sauce because you can use the tomatoes. And uh, you can use your tomato, like use the can of tomatoes. Or use fresh tomatoes, which is, which is better too. So use some fresh tomatoes. And you just take that 
and you just let the tomatoes cook until they start releasing the juices and stuff like that. And that goes your tomato sauce. So, just going to cook these bell, this celery and this bell pepper um, up and let it start getting sour. You're going to have to drain the water off your noodles too, y'all. So, that's why I'm going to be stepping out of the camera. Like, you know, quite regular. This is a live video, y'all, okay? It's live, but y'all ain't here, but it's live, okay? I'm enjoying it, because guess what? I get to watch it with y'all, okay? So, yeah, y'all. I also have a membership. Let me go ahead and cut this little piece of tomato up. I also have a membership, y'all. So if you would like to join my membership, the cost of my membership is $4.99 and the name of my membership is Sugar Boo Crew. Sugar Boo, it's called Sugar Boo Crew because that is what I call my family members over here. Okay, my YouTube followers. That's what I call them, my family members and I call them my Sugar Boo Crew. My Sugar Boos. They're my Sugar Boos. And so, once you hit that subscribe button, honey, and you become a, a member, you're going to be a Sugar Boo too. Okay, so... I thank y'all for coming. I thank y'all for taking interest in my video, watching me, and being here and stuff like that. And I thank you for leaving a comment because I know you is. You're going to tell me, oh, girl, I didn't know that looked good right there. I'm going to try your recipe. Okay. Go ahead on and try. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you. But guess what? I kind of, now that I'm open, y'all. Now that I'm here. And I got it going. I want to add some sausage. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some sausage to mine, y'all. Okay, I'm getting extra with it now. I'm just like that. I'm just like that. My family made Ooh. And this going to be good. This can be good. Oh, my goodness. I just broke my thing. I'm sorry. So... being extra and adding some sausage y'all can i be a little extra 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 so you're just cooking your noodles until you know they are done or whatever what in the world i pulled this out for i done broke this for no reason y'all just broke it for no reason broke the lid child but anyway I know somebody asked about this container too that I got my, got that in or whatever. That container is actually for devil eggs, y'all. And so what I did was I use it for my eggs. I got me two of them. And I use it for my eggs. So I'm taking some sausage patty. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to break that right on down in there. Right in there. And we're going to mix them two meat together. Okay, because honey, y'all know I got to be a little different. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Add whatever you want to add, like I said. No certain rules. No certain way to do this. You do this however, however you want to do it. However you think you and your family going to like it, okay? So once I get this broke down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead on and add that ground beef right on in here as well. That's on the you can use this some Italian sausage. You can use this some smoked sausage if you want to. And break it on up in there. Whatever you want. Make it your own. That's how you're supposed to do that. Yeah, that's the beauty in cooking. I tell y'all that all the time. That's the beauty in cooking. If you can do whatever you want to do because it's your stuff. Ain't nobody eat. Ain't nobody gonna have to eat it. But but you and your stuff. You do whatever you feel you want to do. But if I was eating this by myself, 
I would throw some mushrooms off of it now, but I ain't eating it by myself, so I can't do that there. And we like meeting. We like our food meeting, especially meeting. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Just do it. That's all it is to it. It's a do it. It's a do it. It's a do it. It's a do it. And you can most definitely do just do this do just this right here and take it and add it on top of rice. You're gonna do everything that I'm gonna show you. And you can take it and add it right on top of rice. It's gonna be just a do. Y'all eat tomato and rice? I like tomato and rice. Tomato rice is so good. I don't make it regular enough, but it's good, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna start seasoning this hill up. So the seasonings I'm gonna use, you can use whatever you want to use because it's your stuff, right? Okay. So the seasonings I'm gonna use is some onion powder. I hate this extra fine onion powder, y'all. I picked up the wrong one, but I'm gonna use it. So I got some onion powder. And then I'm gonna put a little, a little uh, celery shout up in there, just a little bit celery salt. Sprinkle a little bit up in there, like that right there. And then I'm gonna put, um, let's see, hold up, y'all. Hold up my family. Hold up my family. Okay, so I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Let me get y'all closer over this way so y'all will be down in the pan, okay? In the in there. Whatever seasonings you want, you go for it. So I'm putting garlic powder. I'm gonna add um I'm gonna add a little, um, where is it? Hold up, y'all. A little black pepper. And then I'm gonna add some Hold on, y'all. I don't rearrange my cabinet and I can't find nothing. <laughs> can't find my seasoning. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna put some seasonings out. Get this season on up real good. And then I'm just gonna add just a little pinch of salt. And that's it. Don't wanna add too much salt because I don't wanna um, have it salty. This up. Why well, I had to use the smaller pan, y'all? Tell me why. Why well, I put a thing on a zone and rang the doorbell. Put a thing on a zone and rang the doorbell. Put a thing on a zone and rang the doorbell. Put a thing on a zone and rang the doorbell. If y'all don't know what the dobe is, the dobe is the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the... For the... One time. If you don't mind. We're going to let that cool just about a minute more. But those noodles is delicious. Delicious. And we're not going to drain this at all because we're going to get that flavor going all the way through those noodles and all of that y'all okay. from the sausage and the ground beef together and i'm not going to break this down really really fine but i'm going to break it down you know because i want the little bit of chop it and chunk it in pieces up in there so it ain't going to be too chunky but 
bigger than what I normally do. But you break it down however you want to break it down. Because it's, it's your stuff. That's why. That's why. So you can do that. You can do that there. There you go. This is a struggle meal. Don't think you need to do some good old ground beef. A bell pepper for some flavor. Some onion for that flavor. If you ain't got me on one of those, you can just substitute for onion powder, you know, and put your little garlic powder off of it in there, some salt, some pepper. You're going to be in there. It's still going to taste just as good. Just as good. So I'm going to put this here until everything is all the way done all the way through. So y'all, this will be good if you take it and you bake it in the oven. You see how that is? It's, it's, it's fine, but it, I mean, it broke down, but it's not fine. You see that? So that right there is going to be good. Right there. And it's going to be good and meaty, y'all. Good and meaty. I ain't going to need no fried chicken. <laughs> no, none of that on the side. Y'all know I love fried chicken chai. I know y'all love chicken too. Don't do me. All right, so we're gonna get this here finished. And so while I'm waiting, I'm gonna just go ahead on and get my oven prepared. And I'm gonna dump my noodles, y'all. I'm gonna strain these to the water off of them. So in my pot back here, y'all, we're going to just go ahead on and get these tomatoes going, okay? Because everything going to go right on in there together. So I'm going to take my tomatoes, and I'm just going to dump those right on in that pot back there. You want to need, did I tell y'all tomato paste? going to need the tomato paste if I did. Um... Then I'm gonna say, come on, sugar. I'm gonna take that little first tomato and I'm gonna put that on in there with that. That's okay. So then, so to the, well, I'm gonna I'm I'm add the rest of the stuff, but we're gonna start adding our little flavors and stuff like that today. So what I'm gonna add back there in there is some oregano. Uh huh. Find it. And I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Let's see. There we go. Oregano. I'm gonna throw us some of this in. Tomato sauce of your choice. You know you gotta add some sugar because it's, it, that's a lot of acidity, acidity or whatever. So you're gonna have to cut that and help it to bring all them flavors. Ooh, yeah. Help bring all them flavors together. So you're gonna put your little sugar in there just a little bit. You ain't trying to put a, put so much to make it sweet. You just wanna take. You can add some red pepper and all that stuff to it, y'all, to give it, you know, um that uh a little spicy kick to it if that's what you want to do it's up to you you do whatever you want to do okay so now i need some italian seasoning we're gonna throw some of that off up in there we ain't gonna do too much to it now but because this is a struggle meal y'all okay you're gonna be using the seasoning that you got on hand you know because you may not have all this stuff right there so you're going to use what you got and make it do what it do. One time for the one time. Because that's how you're supposed to do it, you know? All right, I can almost see my Italian seasoning. I'm about to say, forget it. I got to get my seasons organized and stuff, y'all. It's up here. I just put them, I don't, I don't put them on Italian seasoning. 
I just put it all up there and then organize it. But as long as I got them in the thing, they prepped for when I do get ready to organize it, you know? And when I do get ready to organize my cabinet, it's gonna be over on my second channel, y'all. So now we're gonna get this to mix together. We're gonna throw a little onion powder and a little garlic in there too. I'm gonna put it, you know, get that some flavor as well. You know, cause when it all come together, it just gonna taste that much more better because you took the extra step to season up your sauce as well. Okay, so I'm gonna open this can of tomato paste. this thing y'all i've been trying ever since i had it all right so now we're just gonna get this tomato paste off of in the back there that whole can the whole can and this right here is gonna bring that deep color to it like you want it you know This is going to be so good. I hope I didn't get my oven going. So now you're just going to get that done. Mix it around. And you're going to let that start come together. Oh, yes. Now, this, I smell this too. You can smell how it's starting to crisp and stuff. On the bottom, oh yeah, this is gonna be good, y'all. Mm, mm. You know how it starts getting at a brownish too when you get your, let your meat start browning a little bit after you done cooked all the way through, you just brown it soon. Mm -hmm. That's what we get now with that. So, I'm gonna turn my oven on and we're gonna get some bread off in that oven. If you got to, you eat you some sort of regular sliced bread with it or something. You know, honey, hook it up. Mix up your little garlic butter, honey. I'm going to have to mix up my garlic butter for y'all and have a video for that by itself. But I don't have several people try my garlic butter spread for when I make my homemade garlic bread and stuff. And it be so good, y'all. And they, and, they, and they loved it. They loved it. So that gave me confirmation that it's really good. You know, instead of me just thinking it's good, they say it's good too. But like, girl, you know, girl, you know, you did your thing on that right. Tell girl, like, thank you, sugar. You yeah, know. All right, y'all. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our noodles. Look at that. That's a lot of noodles, y'all. That one little box made all the noodles, child. One box. And look how you're gonna be able to stretch a meal for your family. You know, when you ain't when it's hard times for you and you can't, you know, you ain't got enough money to be cooking like you want to, but you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you a box of macaroni and noodles for a dollar, y'all. A box of noodles. You can get you some ground beef. Look at that. Throw that all in there. Look how it done stretched, y'all. We want all that off the bottom of that pan. Sure do. And all that goodness up in there. So now we're just going to take this here. And we're going to pour that corn right on in there. Mm -hmm. And now we're just going to get this here mixed together, y'all. Get in there. Real quick, one that, one that quick, y'all. Thirty minutes and I'm already full. Hmm. Yep. And that's how simple it is. And if you want to add you some sweet peas, if you want to add you some um, 
what else? Some uh, green beans or something like that to it. You do what you want to do with it. It's yours. Put it in now, cause it's a goulash. You can do that. When you when you thought you wanted to do it with the spaghetti, put it in your goulash. So I'm gonna taste this to see if it got enough salt, enough sugar, enough everything in there. Make sure it don't need nothing. And I'm gonna just let this simmer for a good couple of minutes so that all the flavors can come together. And you can most definitely take this and put it in a dish and put it in the oven with some cheese on top. And it's gonna be just as good, y'all. Even better. Ooh, can y'all imagine it? Mm -mm -mm. So, mm -hmm. that's good. But I need a few more things. Need some more sugar in it. Definitely need that. Need some more sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to put just a little salt off of it now. And probably that's it. I'm going to give it a taste, another taste. Y'all, when this right here come together, baby, don't overcook your noodles now. Please don't overcook your noodles. All it needed was that little sugar and that salt, y'all. And it's in now. <laughs> in now. So now we're going to put this lid on there. And we're just going to let that simmer together a little bit. For maybe like a good five minutes. That's it. You ain't, you ain't trying to overcook the noodles. Just simmer it for about five minutes. And then it's done. So I'm going to just go ahead on. Get my lid. And put it on now. And then I'm gonna get my little wax paper. And I'm gonna throw me some rolls in the oven, honey. Some that's already pre and ready cooked, honey. Try, honey, sugar. Right on that paper. Bring me the rolls from my side, baby. Sugar, sugar. Y'all ain't even gonna know what had it on hit you, honey. I'm telling you. Y'all ain't even gonna know. So how many of y'all did not ring the doorbell? How many of y'all didn't ring the doorbell? Well, if you haven't, you better put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. Put a ding on the zone and ring the doorbell. If y'all don't know what the doorbell is, the doorbell is the thumbs up, the like button. Please hit it one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the one time. Hey, one time for the further, 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 further one time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Hey, if you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time, one more time. If you don't mind ringing the doorbell for your girl one more time. Okay. That's all I ask you to do. You better, boo. You better. You better. Put that ding on the. Hey, put that ding on the. Put the ding on the old bell. Hey, put that ding on the old bell. Hey, put that ding on the. Hey, put that ding on the. Put the ding on the old bell. Hey, put that ding on the old bell. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to go show my second channel some love. Now I want to see you there. I want to see you. The name of it is ooh, Boss Up Cleaning. B O S S U P Cleaning. C L E A N I N G. Boss Up Cleaning. That's why I put all my cleaning videos, y'all. All right. Something must have waste down in there. 
Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. On that 400, thank God for the 400, okay. So I'm gonna put some, how many rolls you want? So, cooking these rolls up for us, y'all. Putting them right on there, just like that. Just like that, right there, right there. Like that, right there. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So we're gonna check the um we're gonna check this uh, goulash, make sure it ain't you know cooking too fast. And we're gonna stir it up a little bit, y'all. And then I'ma dish that on up for y'all. And it's gonna be good to go, honey. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good to go. You am like girl, girl, I ain't even thank that girl. Thank you, sugar. You pre are oh, you welcome, baby. You're welcome. Just gonna thank me later in the comments because I know you will. All right. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. What's, 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 you know, and another thing that made it so acidity, y'all, is because you know you added that tomato paste to it. So you gotta get that tomato paste, the, the work itself on in and all these here ingredients come together and everything get to know one another and start getting along and having a good time in this food family reunion of a pot of goulash honey okay you best to know it's honey you better know it oh yeah honey it's only get, it's only gonna get better and better with time you hear me Y'all know how spaghetti is. It's, it's even better the next day. Mm-hmm. Honey. Mm. <laughs> Ch Ch Y'all gonna be looking for me trying to slap me, honey. Don't slap me. You better slap yourself. You hear me? You better slap yourself. All right, y'all. So that is pretty much done. I'm just going to let that simmer for about a few more minutes. And we're going to be on our way out this door. You hear me? I hope y'all is having a good day on today. I hope y'all ain't letting nobody making y'all a oops, shit or anything like that. You better not. You better not, boo. Okay, so I got some, um... Let's see. I got some um, cheese. And I think I'm gonna put some some cheese, honey. Yes. Oh yeah, y'all wait, honey. I got some for y'all. I got some for y'all behind. Y'all just wait. Y'all just wait one minute. Not two. One. Y'all see that oven smoking? Some in there. I don't know what's down in there, but something is in there. On that foil. I need to change my foil out. But that bread need to hurry on up, honey. Because I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I just cooked my bread long enough to throw out. But yeah, y'all. Let me go on over Get a bowl, honey. Yeah, we're going to dish this all up here. And I'm gonna send y'all on y'all away, honey. I ain't gonna hold you too much more long, cause I know y'all got other things to do, honey. I told y'all this is a quick meal. 30 minute meal. And I'm basically just waiting on the bread. But you know what? I ain't finna wait no long on no bread, y'all. It was about the goulash, not the bread, but you might want you some Texas toast or something, honey. Okay. You probably want you some of that. But y'all look at it. Woo! And most of your work is just the prep work. That is most of the work, y'all. All right, so we're gonna get this here dished on up. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. And then, yeah. I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace, love, and many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. And until next time, this your girl, Tiana, I can only be me. Y'all don't forget to show me some love now. Get now, don't don't do your girl wrong. Don't do me. 
All right, I'm turn y'all around so y'all can see what this thing here looking like. Looking like. Y'all look at it. Ooh, baby. Y'all look at that. Ain't this looking so good and delicious? Child, you better stop. You better go on head on then, fool. But let me show you what you do with it, though. Let me show you how you make it do what it do, baby. You going to take you some of this Parmesan cheese. You can take you some fresh. I got some of that, but, honey, it's easier to grab some, okay? And just sprinkle you a little razzle-dazzle on top like that right there honey dress it up and make it real for him you feel me you better boom look at that child all right y'all i love y'all y'all have a good one y'all let me know if y'all try this recipe peace out